it's not working and we're not learning anything from it really. Kindergarten through third grade students are able to participate in hybrid learning in the Grants Pass School District but older students are stuck in comprehensive distance learning online. We need to say something about it. We need to have a say in our education. Grants Pass School District says some students qualify for limited in-person learning, but it's based on academic need. That could be a lack of internet access or the need to demonstrate specific skills to pass a class. Hope Calvillage is a junior at Grants Pass High School. She plans on participating in a student-led protest Thursday night. Instead of learning in class, we're trying to find motivation to stay in class, and that should never be the instance in school. Her classmate, senior Kyle Bautista, is the organizer. He held a protest demanding in-person instruction last week and says he plans to keep holding them until change occurs. Because I'm trying to give the kids a voice because they never had one before. They didn't have a choice to go back to school or not, which they should have. The state sets the coronavirus metrics. Currently, Josephine County only qualifies for in-person learning at the youngest levels. GPSD says the state is looking at potentially amending its in-person metrics, but right now, the soonest the district can hope for in-person classes at the high school level is the end of January. But that's only if the county keeps the COVID case count low. It's just really anxiety provoking. Meanwhile, Bautista says he and his classmates will keep pushing for a change. Hopefully the more people will see it and the big idea is to get it up to the governor and have her do something about it. In Grants Pass, Mariah Mills, NBC5 News.